So managed assessment services have a number of potential advantages over just doing it yourself in the house. Now, there are at least three main reasons why you would consider taking this approach as opposed to like a DIY approach internally. The first is that a lot of organizations are concerned, and indeed rightly so, that they will have to do quite a bit of training, perhaps even qualifications, in order to use assessments in-house personally. Now, that presents challenges for a number of reasons. One is maybe you need the tests soon. You don't have time to go book yourself in for a training course. You may not have the budget to pay for the whole team potentially to go on a training course to use these assessments. And indeed, there is obviously an opportunity cost in that you could be doing other things than going on a training course to use the assessments. And so an alternative could be just outsource it to someone who is, of course, already trained particularly people who control the assessments themselves, the organization that publishes them. You know, they may have experts that will just do it for you, saving you the need of doing it yourself. Similarly, assessment platforms themselves tend to be quite technically complex. They're software platforms, ultimately. That takes time. Sometimes there's paid training involved in that as well, maybe even costs for implementation. And so it may be cheaper in the short term just to outsource it and get a managed service instead of doing it yourself. Another benefit is that you are leaning on the expertise of the assessors. If you don't know much about assessments, it does make sense to bring in an expert, and that is largely the point of a managed service, is that you are relying on trained assessors, psychologists, and psychometricians to do it for you. And so your, say, lack of knowledge in this area wouldn't be an issue, fundamentally, because you would be leaning on the expertise of other people who know more about this sort of thing. And so they can make the decisions in real time and they can provide recommendations and you just get that expertise, which is a great deal of peace of mind. And the final advantage, which people often don't consider, is that of first line candidate management. Now, if you don't know much about psychometrics and you give a load of psychometrics to some candidates and they come back with questions you don't know the answers to, it can be very stressful, especially if you're trying to justify use of the assessments to the wider organization as well as to candidates. If you're worried that you're gonna get stumped by questions you don't know the answers to, with a managed service, they will be doing the first line candidate support. They will be the ones to get in touch with candidates when there are problems, they need to be resolved, if they have technical questions that need answering, they can do it for you. And so you don't need, you know, any sort of lack of confidence in this area would not hold you up fundamentally. You could just dive straight in and get it done and not have to worry about problems. Now, a lot of these things are more problems with older publishers, people who enforce training in order to use their assessments where the platforms are really unwieldy and difficult to use, where materials aren't readily and freely available to answer those sort of hard technical questions. But it can be sort of relatively easy way in to using these assessments. And for people who are very unsure and want to sort of test the waters before making a commitment, it could be a really good option.